Long ago, in a distant land, it was the custom for the people to change their king every year. Whoever becomes king signs a pledge that after one year of his reign he will relinquish that position and be left on a remote island from which he will never return. When a king's one-year reign was over, he would be left on a special island where he would spend the rest of his life. On this occasion, the king would be dressed in the best clothes and would be seated on an elephant and taken on a farewell journey across the country where he would say goodbye to all the people for the last time. Those would be very sad and sad moments and then the people there would leave the king on the island forever. Once people were leaving their old king on the island and returning when they saw a ship that had just crashed and the young man leaning on a wooden plank to save himself. Since they were also looking for a new king, they put the young man in their boat and brought him to their country and asked him to rule for a year. At first he did not believe, but then he agreed to be king for a year. The people there explained all the principles and methods of this kingdom and also said that after a year they would leave it on a certain island. On the third day of the reign, the young king said to his minister, show me the place where all the previous kings were sent. Respecting the king's wishes, arrangements were made to show him the island. The island was completely forested and full of wild animals. The sounds of these animals could be heard even outside the island. The king went into the forest a little to inspect, and there he saw the skeletons of all his previous kings. He understood that very soon he would have the same condition and wild animals would tear him to pieces and eat him. When the king returned to the country, he gathered a hundred strong and healthy workers. He took them all to the island and ordered that the forest be cleared in a month. All dangerous animals should be killed and all unnecessary trees should be cut down. He visited the island every month and supervised the work himself. In the first month, all the dangerous animals were killed and then many trees were cut down. By the second month, the island was completely cleared. Now the king ordered the laborers to build beautiful gardens in different places on the island. He also carried with him various pets such as chickens, cows, buffaloes, ducks and sheep to the island. In the third month, the king ordered his servants to build a magnificent house and a large harbor on the island. As the months passed, the island was transformed into a beautiful city. The young king wore very simple clothes and spent very little on himself. He spent most of his kingdom's earnings on building the island. Ten months later, the king said to his minister, I know I will be released on the island in two months, but I want to go now. The minister and the other ministers did not agree and said to the king, You will have to wait two more months for the year to end. You will be released on the island only after the year is over. Finally, two months passed and a year of kingship came to an end. According to tradition, the people dressed their king in splendid clothes and seated him on an elephant so that he could say goodbye to his people. Unexpectedly, the king was very happy at his farewell party. People asked him, all the previous kings were crying on this occasion but you are laughing, why are you so happy? The young king replied, you have not heard the wise say, when you come into this world as a little child, you are crying and everyone else is laughing. Life such a life that when you die, you are laughing and the rest of the world is crying. I have lived such a life. When all the kings were lost in the colors of the palace, I was thinking about my future and planning for it. I have now turned this island into a beautiful place where I can spend the rest of my life in peace and tranquility.